Fournette once more on second down. Uses the spin. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 23 yards on the pitch. And it's all about plugging those gaps, not giving a running back a crease to run through. And that's a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. That is not going to be any help as they dump. This is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. But you talk about the defense for these Chargers. And this unit, very tough to throw against. Currently second best in the NFL. And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top 10 in the league against the Pats. But the bottom half of the league in sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make sense. Imagine if this crew, they won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. And he's brought to the ground with another first down. A first down throw for Cousins. Finding Hawkinson here on the out route. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Run the ball first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action, maybe. And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. Leonard Fournette, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Vikings will jump on first, first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. Now he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. Picked off by Byron Murphy. And he'll take this back down inside the 20. So problems with they getting the tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature. And it's caught in the end zone for the Viking touchdown by Justin Jefferson. A 15-yard touchdown in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Oh, what a move. And that's going to be good for a Chargers first down as he's able to take this up to the 30-yard line. So if his team don't go away from what worked, that's not the reason the game was lost. Running the football, overtime, under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. Marcus Dent starting on that road, and the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here. And All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. So really the first speed bump that this offense has encountered. They had the rule of the roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a wake-up call for them because you don't want to go on autopilot too early. That team on defense is capable of making... They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 37 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. A good run there. This is third and 10. Throwing. Cousins. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Khalil Mack. Two here to begin the season. And listen, they made their share of mistakes in these first two games, CD, but you know, talking with them in the days leading up to this one, doesn't seem like they've lost any confidence. I would agree with that. And what they told us was that they weren't planning on making any drastic changes. They didn't see the need to shake things up. They were going to continue to play. They do have to start winning some games. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. His throw complete right side to the tight end, Parham. Back-to-back -back nice down here. On fourth down, Herbert. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. Touchdown, Chargers. Austin Eckler. Because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. A completion, yes, but certainly not what they wanted. A loss of a full six yards. They were happy about that play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring it down. 
Howard gets Davenport, picks up his second. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. And the pressure too much that time as Cousins goes down. Sebastian Cousins Johnson. and the Vikings come up here third and long. They'll drop the throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That one a broken play, but it is. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Third and about three to go. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 24 yards last line. season with 13 touchdowns on the ground. Herbert on first down now. It's caught on the right side. Williams. Touchdown. Mike Williams. An 11 yard touchdown. And the Chargers are within an extra point of tying up this ball. down under 50%. What do you see as the difference? Well, I think we're used to seeing a drop. If someone's over 80%, they're not going to. Oh, Fournette loses it. It's out. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And down inside the red zone at the 19 yard line. And out of the gun now here on third and eight. Here's Herbert. for him the coverage downfield equally good he's got a man complete still going inside the 20 touchdown LA Keenan Allen 90 triple times but not a ton whatever they're doing isn't working he's up over 100 yards we'll see how they adjust and when they do that they weaken their defense in other places as well how many times have we done games right. usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well play action this time for Justin Herbert throw over the middle into the hands of the tight end Parham and he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40 yard line a gain there of 21 no yards. Way. You're not going to account for him. Now a give running left is Eckler. Look at the spin. And shutting him off now open field. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. And that one's incomplete. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Here as he's taken down. The Daniel Holmes, a very uninspired effort. The last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during the series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They get going. A good pick up there, 26 yards. They go play action. Cousins. That's caught downfield by Anderson. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. And the offense is saying to itself, it has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Second down, back to Fournette. Shoves him away. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Little Fournette with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Vikings... And this caught left side by the tight end Parham. Yeah, he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. And he can't find a receiver and he's brought down. Milton Williams. Play action. It's Herbert. And that one complete to his receiver, Palmer. And he's got a first down. And still maybe want to think about letting that play clock run a little here. It's second down. 
Meanwhile, Herbert's throw there complete to Allen. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. And all the way down inside the five to the four. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. And his kick here is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. Well, this one, partner, was fun down at the very end. They got the points late, right before the whistle. Then the ensuing kickoff. They were hoping for magic on the other side, but couldn't get that spark. Fun if you won. <laughs> and fun for us, because we got to watch it and call it. That